Welcome, my dear friends, to the Zero Fucks Given Show. As the name is indicating so beautifully, guys, if we do not give many fucks here, especially not for meaningless shit, right? If we do give a lot of fucks about beautiful and meaningful things, such, such as fasting. You know, there is a, a famous Russian doctor named Dr. Filonov who has done a great deal in the research on dry fasting, yeah, right? Uh, he literally uh, supervised thousands of dry fasts, um, which is not very popular um, in our society. And his astonishing studies and research have certainly popped a sword bubble uh, that a human cannot live more than three days without consuming water, which I have now proven with my uh, five-day hard dry fast. And as the longest... Uh, a recorded dry fast stands now at 18 days. The astonishing reason for this, my dear friends, is that the body is actually able and capable of uh, producing its own water internally in the process of transmuting fats. In other words, our body is so smart and intelligent to suck out the water our goddamn fat cells to make us look and feel good, sexy and happy for the rest of our lives. Now, guys, that was enough for today. Uh, coming back to the zero fucks given uh, policy, this is so important guys, always remember you have a limited facts to be given in your life, so reserve a few facts to give them to meaningful stuff, helping people, right, you know, entertaining people, some good stuff guys, you know, do not give a stuff uh, a fuck about meaningless shit, we touch on this in later sessions. Now. I want to give you a quick update on my amazing hard drive fast. So we touched, uh, we had day one guys, then I'll give you a nice update on day two. You can always go back to the sessions and check them up on my YouTube channels, they're all there. And we have number three, day number three, hard drive fast. Yesterday I gave you an update uh, on day four. And today, my friend, as you can guess already, give me a little drum roll, guys. Yes, it is true. I made it to day five. Yeah, give me some standing ovation. Let's do a little boogie. I put some music on for us, guys. Uh, <laughs> That's enough guys, let's get serious again here. Now, an update on my hard, dry, fast, day five. Wow, you know what? I'm still stunned by, by, by myself that it is possible to go for five days with no food, no water, and no contact with water. No showers, no brushing teeth, no washing your face, no washing your hands, zero contact with water. This is insane guys, but of course it is a, a very fast track healing process. It is a super strong cleansing process, yeah? So uh, I quickly put the disclaimer in here just in case I forget, right? So even so I have done now 120 freaking hours, five days with no water and no food and no contact and touch with water. You have to be super careful guys always consult with your health professional and if you ever attempt any kind of fast you need supervision you need people to help you in case something goes wrong all right so this is not uh whatever an instructional video it is just an informational video where i give you an update on my journey on day five of my five day hard dry fast now guys if you ever are intending to do some fasting which i would obviously highly encourage you to do so, careful obviously, uh, do your research, do your studies, prepare well. Look, I have done, I've been living on raw foods 
on a high plant-based, high raw food diet for the last 20 years. So I, I, my body is pretty clean. I've, I've done a lot of little fast leading up to this. So I'm prepared, right? At least as much as you can prepare for it. And you have to do the same as you can't just jump in and do some longer dry fast straight away. Uh, it's almost suicide, I guess, right? So now back to my, <laughs> to my five day dry fast. I want to give you a quick update on my pee parade. Say it again, guys. Pee parade. What was the major word? Yes. Pee parade. The pee parade is coming. Now, something, something really magical and interesting has happened, guys. This was day four, which I showed you yesterday. This is day five. Look at this, guys. Significantly. Hang on, I switch. Switch hands here a little bit. Significantly more on day five. How can that be? That is almost magical, guys. And it even surprised myself, right? It is dark, dark pee, dark pee, it's dark pee, guys. But it's quite a lot. So that is probably close to a liter. The only reason I can explain that, that now the body has adapted, I'm not a, not a scientist, and I didn't spend as much time in the sun yesterday, as I said, on my one day lunch time, on my one hour lunch time walk in the park, I almost spent half of it in the shade. So I was kind of trying to be smart, go on the trees, you know, uh, didn't spend as much, uh, a full hour uh, in the sun. So I didn't sweat as much. And I have not been to the gym yesterday. I simply didn't have the time. I questioned 20 push-ups and my, my uh, one hour lunchtime walk. Maybe that's the reason I didn't sweat and that's obviously more pee. But nevertheless, guys, it's a good sign. The body is working well. Um, and uh, as I said, my first four days were quite exhausting. I had too much work on. I had too much on my plate, guys, which is never good, guys. You have to be able to relax more, you know, chill out more and stuff. So that would make your process uh, of any kind of fast a lot easier. But look, I'm a crazy motherfucker and I did it. I worked all the three, uh, four days and quite hard and quite uh, exhausting and phew, I'm glad it's done now. Day five is, is uh, was, was uh, a lot easier already and I hope on day six tomorrow I can relax a bit more and enjoy my time on my fast. A little more so I've gave you an update on the pee parade I touched already on the time yesterday that I'm doing this hard dry fast in peak summer it is ridiculously hot here in Sydney we have outside 40 degrees and inside the unit I showed you yesterday uh, it's 30 degrees 32 yesterday actually 30 sorry guys I'm so dry 32 degrees it was inside and it's 40 outside so it is smoking hot guys sizzling hot it doesn't make my job much easier. Now, I told you my this and this, my weight. Now, guys, this is, it, this is pretty interesting. So I lost uh, on day one, two kilos, on day two, two kilos, on day three, one kilo, on day four, one kilo, and on day five, I lost one kilo. So I'm now seven kilos down, uh, skinny as, as it gets, guys. <laughs> This is the ridiculously beautiful <laughs> six pack tummy, guys. So it is, there's nothing in here anymore, guys. Uh, obviously, if nothing comes in, you shrink down to the size of a midget. That's okay, guys. As I always told you, I'm not doing it for the weight loss. Uh, not at all, guys. Uh, fat loss obviously is good, you know, if you shrink down, we all want to be lean as fuck, and the whole society is all geared up to the thing, and if you can do it naturally like I do, without using metabolism enhancers, without using steroids and all this fucking rubbish out there, uh, that's probably the best way you can ever do it, to get in shape and stay in shape, healthy, right? And having longevity, uh, you know, uh, on your uh, uh, radar as well, which is the most important thing, guys. Let's face it, health is true wealth, and nobody wants to die early. That's all the thing, people popping all pills and doing this, injecting shit, you know, uh, I was never a fan of this shit, guys. I'm a natural guy. I like to be out outdoors. I like to eat natural foods, unprocessed foods. 
uh, obviously, you know, fasting is, is one, I eat one, one meal a day, so I do intermittent fasting, uh, where I eat all my, my calories, all my food in, uh, in an hour window-ish, sometimes 75 minutes, sometimes even 90 minutes if I, you know, want to eat a bit slower and stuff. That's okay, guys. But it, yeah, that's obviously one reason why my body probably is quite prepared for a longer dry fast too. Hard, dry, fast, day five. What else is to say, guys? I touched on my weight, I touched on the P. Uh, my energy level, as you can see, is quite good. I felt a bit sluggish sometimes when i outside in the sun. It feels like I'm walking in a desert. My mouth is so dry, guys. I have nothing in me. Otherwise, um, I had no symptoms of any bad feelings so far. So please give me both thumbs up. Let's pray for day six. I give you another update on day six tomorrow and then we hit already day seven which was my goal if i feel good and strong enough if i have it in me i'm going to go up to nine days it's going to be absolutely amazing and not many people have done nine days of dry fasting in australia yet so uh, uh, i'm looking forward to to go through the process and cleans have that intense cleansing process happening in my body uh when you dry fast you feel a bit hot so uh uh, you know, wearing a suit now is just for you guys to make you happy, to make you feel good. Uh, please, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channels, like and share, write something nice, give me a smile. I love you all, guys. Peace out. Bing, 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 bing. I see you guys tomorrow on day six of my hard, dry fast. <laughs>